Man, you got us all excited about this sweet looking car and then the production one is not it's terrible. The chief designer at Tesla presents a Cybertruck that is matte black. Elon tells Jiger Berlin employees that Tesla is testing the use of AI assistant robots in their cars and that the new $25,000 car will be manufactured in Germany. On November 4, Tesla chief designer Friedrich von Holzhausen was spotted traveling around Southern California and making stops at least once at an event in a Cybertruck that had a new kind of visual mod and a matte black wrap. Throughout this year, we have seen Tesla staff driving around Cybertrucks with wraps of various designs, mostly different types of camo, but also some very interesting graffiti-inspired looks. And of course, the joke wraps made to look like competitor trucks, like the Ford F-150 Lightning. But matte black is eye-catching in a different way. It's certainly a different look from the usual stainless steel design, but fans of the Cybertruck have been speculating about an all-black paint job or wrap for quite some time now. Not least of which because Von Holhausen himself has remarked that early renders of the vehicle were done up in a black finish to showcase some variation on the look, and it definitely looks interesting. The matte black finish has the appeal of tacky cool accessories, and coating the Cybertruck in this sort of wrap makes it look a lot more like something Batman would drive. It cuts down on the glare that Tesla engineers have been busy trying to eliminate from the stainless steel finish, and it makes the light stand out just a little more aggressively. Jokes aside, it really gives the Cybertruck a more sleek appearance, not to mention that a black wrap would be a much better canvas for that Griffin-style pinstriping and decal work we saw about a month ago. Unfortunately, not everyone was so impressed with the new fit, as some attendees of the weekend event noticed that not only was the black wrap applied poorly with bubbles and wrinkles in several noticeable places, but the Cybertruck Von Holhausen chose to drive around in was clearly not made to modern Tesla standards. Fenders were hanging at odd angles, the back bumper was misaligned, and attendees reported seeing gaps in the body panels that you could stick a whole finger through. Now, there could be a number of reasons why this particular Cybertruck looked like this, but the simplest answer is just that Von Holhausen was excited to show off the matte black wrap, had it hastily applied to an old prototype, and drove off to stoke some local hype. Considering this is really the first instance of visibly shoddy workmanship on a Cybertruck we've heard of so far, it's more likely that is the case than anything more alarming. In addition to the cool new wrap, Von Holhausen reportedly also showed off a bit of the all-wheel steering capabilities of the truck, something we can see the Cybertruck team testing in this video from Joe TM on November 1st. The ability to steer with both front and rear wheels and crab drive is a big feature for the Cybertruck and could help get the vehicle out of some tighter spots. But we haven't really seen any clear testing of this ability for some time. Before Joe dropped this video on us, both this video and Von Holhausen's weekend drive are sightings that we got and used to over the past couple of months in the run-up to Cybertruck's first delivery date, which is expected to be November 30th. But while most people are excited, there have been some rumblings amongst the community ever since Tesla's Q3 earnings call where CEO Elon Musk tempered the expectations of some investors by updating them on the facts of Cybertruck's ramp-up, stating that it might take some time to actually build up to any sort of financially stable production rate. But on a recent podcast aired on October 31st, Elon said we're aiming to make about uh, 200,000 a year of volume production, which is roughly in line with his previous statements about the current capabilities of the Jiger Texas facility where the Cybertruck is going to be produced. Due to the vehicle's complexity and the challenging nature of the manufacturing process, the ramp-up will not be as rapid as Tesla would like. Musk has been cautious to underline that ever since the earnings call, but the company hopes that in the next 12 to 18 months, Tesla will reach mass production and be able to look forward to growing that even further. Apple Mac more importantly though, it appears that people are just getting ready to get their hands on a Cybertruck and play with the options like this new matte black wrap. Elon Musk stated in May during the annual shareholders meeting that Tesla would be attempting to get the production of Cybertruck to anywhere between 250,000 and 500,000 units per year. That's actually not much more than the initial ramp-up will be able to make. It's official. Tesla's new next-generation car will be produced at their facility in Germany. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, visited the Giga Berlin factory on November 3rd to deliver the good news. Last week, we covered the first few open forum discussions with local residents and regulatory groups where the water intake of the massive factory was discussed and ultimately approved. There's been no word on when exactly these new options will be available, but it's good to see Tesla showing them off so confidently. Maybe they'll even have a few options ready by the end of November. 
the massive expansion of Giga Berlin has been quietly simmering away behind other tester projects for the entire year, but once these public discussions are over, construction can start. As a result, a significant portion of this expansion project will see the building of a brand new battery production facility on the property, and floor space in the vehicle production area nearly double. The majority of the buzz surrounding this expansion has been focused on the increase in regular vehicle production that it will accommodate, but we now know there's another reason why it's happening now. Tesla's next-generation vehicle platform, which was introduced back in March, has been positioned as a low-cost practical option, costing about $25,000. With this car, Tesla will be able to dominate the market for adorable electric vehicles and finally pursue their long-dreamed robot taxi concept a fully automated autonomous cab. Originally, the idea was to start production of this new platform at Giga Mexico. However, some snags with local infrastructure and some weariness with global interest rates have forced Tesla executives to slow down on the completion of that particular facility and move the project to Giga Texas. Most of the company's best engineers and design personnel are currently stationed at Giga Texas for the Cybertruck project. The announcement from Elon doesn't mean that the vehicle will be moving again. By all accounts, it looks like design, prototyping, and initial production, at least, will still be taking place at Giga Texas. However, it makes a lot of sense to have another facility ready to actually build these cars. And Tesla seems to have chosen Germany. That is a little bit of an odd choice considering how well a smaller, cheaper compact car would do in a place like Shanghai. But that facility is already the busiest facility in Tesla's roster. So maybe the company is considering importing vehicles to their factory in China, which would be a novel change of pace for them, as Shanghai usually exports parts and vehicles to the other facilities. This could also be another way to justify investing more money into the European market, where a smaller EV would also perform well. It's anyone's guess as to why Tesla made this choice specifically, but it looks like the Germany crew is going to have the next five or more years packed with a factory expansion, the start of battery production, and now the creation of a whole new vehicle production line. Now, that's job security. The beginning of November has been a busy time for Tesla announcements. CEO Elon Musk wrote on X.com that Tesla vehicles will be testing the use of Grow, an AI assistant software developed by one of Elon's other startups, XAI. In case you missed it, Elon really likes X. The original discovery was made by a Tesla enthusiast named Chuck Cook, who saw a post that Elon had liked, stating that Teslas would be running with Grow as their AI assistant. Elon quickly jumped into the thread to confirm that yes, if the program's onboard computers could handle it, they will be running it and utilizing the program's capabilities to run the most usable inference compute on Earth. Now, what does inference compute mean? Because that sounds a bit of a mouthful inference. Elon is proposing that each Tesla equipped should be able to assist other vehicles on the local network with live navigation and problem-solving tasks if the onboard computer of those vehicles can manage the load of such a heavy program. This is a pretty cool suggestion, and it fits in with what Elon and Tesla have been discussing since they unveiled the new FSD direction back in March for the Investor Day presentations. They will be able to train their AI models with more assistance from their Dojo supercomputer, which will allow them to provide real-time data to one another. The biggest contribution that Grow can make to the Tesla network appears to be that Grow is simply the next step toward achieving that goal. However, according to XAI, Grow can also likely improve quality of life because it is intended to be a user-friendly model with a humorous personality based on Elon Musk's favorite science fiction series, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. As such, you can probably anticipate that your new onboard AI will refer to you as a hoppy fruit at some point. If the integration is successful, it appears that Elon is intending for Ro to completely take over the functions of the current voice command system on board tester vehicles. Therefore, expect testing over the next few months to really fine-tune that before it starts rolling out to users. I hope you liked this video and make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this.